Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Amelia and today I am going to make the TikTok famous baked by Melissa green goddess dip. For the base, you're gonna need some cabbage, cucumber, and chives. For the dressing, you're going to need two cloves of garlic, one shallot, the juice of two lemons, chives, one fourth of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, rice vinegar, cashews, walnuts, spinach, basil, nutritional yeast, and a half of a teaspoon of salt. So I was looking for the legitimate recipe for this on the internet and I couldn't find it. So hopefully this helps you guys. If this does help you in understanding what goes into making this dip, make sure you give this a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to, and continue watching to the end. I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna do the math really quickly just to see how much I spent on this. I have the receipts right here. Like, I'm gonna do it later, actually. I do want to point out that Melissa finally chops everything and she's like really good at chopping. She has a really good knife that she linked in her description. I have some really good knives. Like, I just got this knife for free from the company that sells this knife, the Cal... Cal full on and I accidentally broke it on a tile floor I wrote to the company and they gave me a brand new one so this knife is really good but I might cheat and use my Cuisinart just because it's gonna be much faster I mean at least for the cabbage right do you have to wash cabbage I doubt it right I feel like I'm just gonna like peel off the top pieces I don't know Something that I'm going to do that she didn't do is peel the cucumbers because I don't really like the taste or like the feeling of unpeeled cucumbers to be honest. It just seems dirty to me. She cuts so precisely, like in the thinnest little strips. Yeah, I'm putting this in the food processor. The last thing for the base I think was chives. Going in. Bam. I was going to clean this out like to make my dressing, but I feel like I don't need to since it's all going in the same place anyway, so don't judge me. Okay, thanks. I'm just like very excited about this dip right now. If you're watching this and you're making this, like, isn't this so cool? I've never even like thought to do anything remotely like this. All right, this is one clove of garlic and it's so teeny tiny that I'm just going to add like three of these or four this is a shallot and this is the first time that I am using a shallot I'm pretty sure it's just a tiny onion and her shallot looked so much smaller than this so I'm just gonna cut it in half like peel it and I'm not just gonna freaking put the whole thing in there like a crazy person but you get what I mean oh maybe I should just use one of these since there's two of them all right that's what I'm gonna do I have spinach and basil here organic again yes Killing it. This is so much effort for a dip. Like you can just go to a store and buy a dip. This is my salad spinner, it cleans my salad. And then this is the remaining like dirty water. Adding the spinach and the basil. I am really talking to myself. Is this how like Food Network stars feel? Yes. Now they have like an audience, don't they? Oh, I totally thought that I did have almonds, but I only have cashews. I ran out of almonds. It should be good. I have pecans. Does that work? I keep my nuts in whoa. I keep my nuts in leftover Talenti jars. Like, how do you feel about that? Don't let me know. Okay. Um, literally like finishing my nutritional yeast. There's like nothing left. I feel like rich people make things like this. This took me forever to find the ingredients. Like, not find them, but it's just like annoying to go out and like buy them. I had a lot of stuff in my house but like not everything like i don't just have cabbage or mint i mean freaking basil great okay i think it's just olive oil rice vinegar adding a splash they say i feel like it's like really gonna taste like chives like do i need this much sure Okay, garlic, shallots, lemon juice, chives, extra virgin olive oil, rice vinegar, cashew, walnuts, spinach, basil, nutritional yeast, oh, salt. No, holy shit. That is good. I'm gonna let it blend a little more. Isn't it funny how you can like mix something to a certain consistency and mix another thing to another consistency and then mix them together without like blending them just by mixing them with a spoon 
um, really just like thinking about this right now as I'm mixing this. It's like kind of awesome. I just think life is awesome. All right, I think that's mixed. It's really good. I think I put too much dip on my chip. So let me do like a little bit less. Honestly, the dressing alone tastes better than when it's with the cabbage. I'm not like the biggest cabbage fan. Um, that dressing is fire. But like with the cabbage, mm, not so much. So I think I would make the dressing again and put it on a regular salad. But like the entire dip thing is just like, okay. <sighs> Was it worth it? No. But I'm still gonna eat it. And it actually is really good. It's just not like as good as like she makes it seem. That is so good. It is really good though. <laughs> Green goddess dip. Hi everyone. What am I doing? I don't know. Like my hair, what is it doing? I don't know. Whoa, that looks so cool.